Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, out on another walk, and this time I'm with Martin. Hello, Martin. Martin Hello, Snow. Um, Martin Snow, off you go. <laughs> Sorry, feeling in a silly Shall we? Mood. <laughs> feeling in a slightly silly mood today. Um, down in Shoreham by Sea in West Sussex on a beautiful Saturday sunny morning in October and we are right by the River Ada or the outlet of the River Ada. Ada. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've, got, I've got that right. Some yes. facts I've actually got right. <laughs> uh, behind us, Good start. you can see uh, in the distance there the footbridge that goes across the river. And oh, I nearly fell off, <laughs> fell off this, this little river bank bit that I'm on. And then there's Old Shoreham and the church. But that's not the reason we're here today. We're here for a slightly different reason. We're taking a stroll by the old houseboats. So come on, Martin. Right. <laughs> Heel. Heel. So here we go. Now, these houseboats have been here for donkey's years, haven't they? I mean, not necessarily time. the boats themselves, but the, the, the moorings the, the, have been... Yes, the site has been used. Yeah, yes. and um, I don't really know anything about any of the boats individually. We did meet a very nice man who you introduced me, who's written um, what looks like the authoritative um, thesis on all boats up and down the country and all their moorings and everything. Yes, yes. Um, and, uh, um, but, but I didn't glean much more than the fact that the moorings are owned by potentially the owners of the houseboats. Exactly, yes. Um, and as you can see here, there's a whole, um, all sorts of different, there's a lady there just hanging out her washing, which is very nice. And the tide is out at the moment, so you don't really get a sense of the fact that the uh, the boats actually do float, but they they do rise and fall with the with the water, don't they? A, a little bit, yes. A little bit. Well, I mean, you know, not as much as that they float out to sea or anything. No, no. But um, they, some of them are pretty ancient-looking boats from all sorts of different classes of use. This is this is an interesting one. It's, it's, it's made of concrete. Oh, oh God, a concrete boat. Let's see if we can get round this side to have a look at it. Thin, close a bit. Here we oh, go. Here we, are. there we are. Look at that that a concrete boat and you wouldn't think just by that description oh look look at this old um bollard <laughs> um you wouldn't think sorry told you i was in a silly mood you wouldn't think that a concrete boat would float but of course you wouldn't think steel on its own would necessarily float that's a um funny looking thing um but of course it's the shape the shape that makes it um Buoyant. That's right. Yes. Um, you know, and these some of these boats, <laughs> the entrances to the boathouses look cricket yeah, bats. Uh, yeah, it, it's it, it, it's definitely a, an opportunity for the artistic. Yeah. Um, it may not be your art, but uh, it's, it's right. artistic. Um, it's a shame you can't sort of get round. We really need to get a drone so that you could fly on the other side to see it. Yeah. Painted to order. Any font. <laughs> a sign writer. There we go. Oh, that's, this is quite attractive, isn't yeah. it, in its way. And there, there you can get to see the boat, Sneaky Peak. We're just coming up along the little footpath here by the moorings. And um, it's, it's very pleasant. You've got houses on the other side of us. And then uh, you've got all these houseboats on our right. At the moment you can't see any because um, somebody's actually erected a great big fence here with, a, with another little sign. So Stained glass. glass. So, a lot of um, little industry here, really, isn't there, Martin? There's, there's, there's Don't fall deal. down that no. slope. <laughs> there's a bit of a slope that way. Yes. But when you when you do get the chance to see them, like here, you know, it's hard to imagine what what use they were originally were for. But all different, all different, all different kinds. Yeah. Yes. Quite a lot were barges um, or lighters. Yeah. Yeah, a lighter. What is a lighter? Uh, a, li a lighter is for lightening the boat, uh, lightening a, sh a ship, a cargo ship, and taking oh, the right. goods. Oh, right, taking the goods off to lighten the load. Yeah, uh, you know, and, and taking them into the harbour right. where, where the... Um, where the customs people where, can... Where the boat can't... Where the, you know, the, the cargo boat can't... Can't get, get to, in because it's too big. Yeah. Oh, I see. A bit but, more... A bit more privacy here. Some people aren't obviously too keen. Yeah. But what is you can do twi is twinkles. One's you can, called. You can do that with a little camera like mine. Yes. Oh yeah, there's twinkle. 
chunk of time for. They've all got they've all got their certain numbers. So the postman presumably comes along up here. Oh, well, no, knows where to deliver. Yes. Yeah. It's quite bizarre. Um, little community and I imagine everybody I mean I don't know and I'm sure maybe um, any of those owners who are watching the video on YouTube or Facebook or wherever can get in touch and tell me it's um, a, you know probably quite an interesting and um, a friendly community here yes generally I think it is um, I mean you're not gonna you're not gonna move into a houseboat if you get the opportunity and not be able to get on with your neighbour, are you? You can't, really, you can't afford not to, really. And you've probably got to be a certain type of person. I mean, for a start, you're not the person who wants to live in an ordinary house. No. Um, to live on a boat. And, and goodness gracious, look at this thing coming up. Yes, um, so. And you might think, they, from this angle, everything looks a bit cluttered because you're seeing it really just from the shore. But of course, internally that the boats probably are absolutely lovely some of them yes yes wow, look at the some. size of that whacking that great huge thing. that it? looks like some military thing um yes it was it was built um i think he said uh, was it the 50s or the 70s um, that is quite um oh here we go there's oh. a bit of a bit of signage here. Yeah. Yes, and this fact it is the pages from the book of the chap that we were talking about earlier. Oh, there you go. Um. <laughs> How amazing! But this huge, great, big hull, wonderful shape, wonderful. But yeah, some of them there. That's like a, a very old, rusty um, plate welded or riveted rather um, business. With, with their little gangplanks. Oh, here we go, you get a much better view. And their little rowing boats down on the... So they can row out. I don't know, I suppose the water doesn't really come in that deeply here, does it? Um, no, I, 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 very high tides. I imagine it would come up. Oh, it does come right water. high then? Oh, yes. Oh, right. Right over where... Um, I was um, kind of imagining that it um, just basically was just covering the... Covering the, the no, water. No, it gets Morning. Uh, a few feet deep. There. Right. And oh, okay. At, at the highest tides. It's a bit of a um, bit awkward here. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, well, now look at this lot. Creations. Emma Goldman, 1869 to 1940. Gosh, look at all this. It's staggering. And what are they? They look like um, bombs have dropped into the uh, bank there. And, and this has got a bus half on the side. Yeah, half half bus a bus. Cut in half. Good God. <laughs> Amazing. It is a, I mean, it's a bit like a circus, isn't it, in its own way? In a way, yes. And there's a car there. Old, um, Robin Reliant, Robin is it? Reliant. Wow. <laughs> that is incredible. Some real artwork going on in there. And this is quite a long stretch. How long do you reckon this is? Half a mile? Um, it's a fair it's old... getting on for that, isn't it? ...bit of moorings. I guess the, um, there's only so many moorings that you can have. You can't just go on and on. Look at that old um, bizarre-shaped thing. And they did... I mean, clearly, they started off life... As commercial, as commercial boats. Commercial boats. And yes. somebody sat there and designed them and they floated for one purpose and then they've been adapted like this lot here. It's oh. like, you know, a I mean, load of that, beach you huts. You can't see any boat, can you? No. Wow. Well, we nearly come to the end. Um, well, when I say that, actually, it goes on for quite a stretch. Quite, quite a bit to go yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess there's... Oh, here we go. Look, just, sorry, just come back and just show you the other side of that. In the distance you can see um, Rote Walk, those blue... Oh, the buildings, uh, the buildings yes. behind blue, bal it. blue balconies, yes. Yeah, that was um, a place called Rote Walk. It was fairly, fairly modern. Um, and then the River Ada goes north from here up towards uh, Upper Beading. Past the cement works. Past the cement works that we did a video on. And then, um, where does it end up, the, the River Ada? Um, it goes quite well, a way. It, it goes a long way. In fact, it goes all the way around behind Brighton. It's 
one Gosh. of the places it raises. Oh, right. Uh, in, uh, near near Ditchling not, Beacon. Not terribly navigable, though. Uh, after, no, no, after uh, what, Stending Way? Up a beading, it starts to sort of peter out a bit. Um, yes, I mean, the, f- the furthest point you can navigate is um, uh, up just above Henfield. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we've done our ten minutes, I'm afraid. Um, very, very easy, and there's still more and more to go. Um, and, you know, do come down to Shoreham and have a look at the houseboats if ever you're in the area. They're, they're just great fun. It's a shame you can't get on them, although I think occasionally they have open days. Uh, they, they do. I don't know the, the coming uh, days. No, no. Watch, uh, watch the internet. Watch the internet. Um, we'll just finish there because there's another dirty great big one um, up ahead. So we'll just get to that one and then, and then we'll come to an end. <laughs> So yeah, I think a lot of people come along here and just have a nose, don't they? Because it is a curious lifestyle that you're you're into, and and you know it's like a great big shed on top of a on top of the hull of a boat, and I guess that gives you two floors, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. I mean that's, that's essentially what it is. But um, it, yeah, perhaps they wouldn't like that description. No, they, they, no, I don't think they. But you know, that. from a land lover, here we go. We'll just end on this. Amazingly huge boat. It's really wide. How, you know, does that take one or two berths, mooring um, things? Probably, or take, probably only takes one. Gosh. They, they may not be, I, I don't know, they may not all be the same width. Yes, true. Well, there you are. Thank you so much, Martin. A brilliant idea to come okay. here and just <laughs> take a, a, just a very casual stroll along of the houseboats on Shoreham. And if you have a suggestion of where you think we would find some interesting things that we can have a casual (laughs) stroll. Careful asking that question. (laughs) Let me know. Until the next time, bye for now. Bye bye. Right, we rowing back? Yes. Yes. Um, I'll let you wade out then.